Welcome, 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 dear listeners, to our another beautiful Medicine of Light Astro Shamanic Energy Healing Guidance and Podcast. This is our episode number six, and we are entering the full moon in Virgo, opposite of all the Piscean energy. So we're coming from the new moon into full moons from the still with the Piscean tail behind. And also, it's the full moon of the spring equinox here. And I'm here with my dear friend, Robert Green, amazing astrologer and wisdom keeper. And he's here today to share what is out there with the planets and the moon, how they all dancing together, what it's the wisdom to learn from this, uh, what we can bring in harmony. So thank you, thank you, thank you for coming again. We are here again together physically, which is so, so nice. And yeah, giving you a voice. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Mishka. Yeah, it's great to be here out in nature on a beautiful day. And we're coming to the uh, the full moon, the equinox moon. So we look, it's all about balance. We're going to have equal day, equal night. So uh, when I was looking at this, I could see that clearly that is a very much a theme of this full moon. The full moon in Virgo, uh, mm. with still so much going on in the sign of uh, Pisces, with uh, Neptune and Jupiter there and the Sun. Um, yeah, lots going on in Pisces. The last new moon uh, was a lot about intentional prayer and inner work and trusting and, and starting to work that way and see the power of that. Now, this um, full moon in Virgo is going to ask us to balance that now and. Um, it's a time uh, where we're going to be asked to balance that, that intentional inner work with practical work, physical work, uh, self-care, taking responsibility uh, and forming day-to-day -day practical actions which will mirror the inner work that we are doing inside. So that's really like a grounding. This full moon in Virgo is, is asking now, can we begin to really ground this uh, intentional way of working? Um, and bring it into our daily lives as a daily practice so that it becomes very real for us. Yes, and very disciplined, isn't it? Very God likes to take the discipline on it. Very inspiring discipline. star sign, very inspiring energy to bring discipline into our lives. New practices, if you're learning something new as well, so it's just the Piscean energy, isn't it? Learning new things, channeling things, and bring it into this world, into the earth and how we can use it in our daily life to enhance our lives, to make it more mm, vibrant and healthy and amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So that's really, I think, great combination. Also, it's for the Equinox energy really nice. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, it's it's amazing how it's working so well with the Equinox, which is uh, showing us the, the, the Earth balance as the well, balance, isn't balance. it? Yeah, so the so. Earth coming here to show us how we can be in a harmony. So. Mm. Virgo, Pisces, opposite each other. Yeah. And you said there is much going on, isn't it? Yes, yeah, a lot going on. Uh, <laughs> looking at the, the full moon a bit more. So the Virgo uh, full moon is going to shine a light on these issues for us. Mm. Um, it's kind of asking us, how are we going to practically ground that intentional uh, devotional prayer inner work? Yes. How can we make that more uh, a part of our daily routine? We can think about things like our diet, uh, exercise patterns, all the things that keep us healthy. But then from that point of our personal health, we look out into our mm. environment. What's going to keep our environment healthy? And also shining a light on what what is the stuff that isn't healthy for us? Because Virgo is very discerning mm. and is a very sharp, uh, critical uh, ability to think very clearly, very intelligent sign. So looking at all the little things that maybe, maybe that's not healthy for me now. Maybe I need to look at these and examine mm -hmm. these small things. And if this is not a healthy thing, mm -hmm. maybe it's time for these things to go. Yes. Yeah. So the little details, I know we're going to laugh the little details. Yeah. So it is about taking a moment to observe, be the inner observer and actually don't procrastinating the time. You know, it's also with the healing. So if you feel something is going on on a physical level, don't leave it too long, you know? Don't think, oh, you know, maybe next day, maybe next week, but actually do it today, you know? As much as we can do today, we will move further more positively as well. 
um, lovely. And what else is out there with the other planets? Yeah, so uh, a little bit more on the full moon. It, it, it's Virgo. Virgo is asking us to be flexible, so it's asking us to constantly reevaluate the situation. Mm. So Virgo is an Earth sign, but it's the most flexible of the Earth signs. It's uh, a very uh, intelligent energy. Yeah. It's ruled by Mercury. So Virgo is very interested in what's happening right now and how does that change yep. the, my current thinking. So staying open and flexible, very important with the, the Virgo moon there. Yes. Um, and also uh, showing how personal uh, responsibility for our own health and personal um, what's the word, discipline yes. uh, is not only empowering for the self, but it's also empowering for the environment outside us as well. Indeed, for the family, for yes. your community as well. And be the inspiration, you know, bring something forward to your children as well. And uh, maybe just even make a healthy lunchbox, you know. So start small or start using the eco products in your household, which I feel like it's so important right now with, with uh, the ecology as well. And we have uh, such an opening, you know, you can go to any store, in fact, now, and you can get a really nice ecological products which you can wash your dishes with, your clothes with. And actually, it's, it's actually, affordable in fact you know um, so maybe bring that also in I feel that's also the inner home for the like how we can be the earth keepers caretakers of the earth as well so not only our body but also of the earth so if you have ever uh, thought about how you can be part of this environmental change start in your household check it check out what you're using to clean up your floor your dishes and go out there and you know get something completely ecological biodegradable you know plastic bags you can change for being more biodegradable as well it's really amazing what is out there so i'm really bring that invitation and also you can inspire your community your family with this as well yeah wow we have a very wind activation here today <laughs> so we are on a beautiful piece of earth we are grounding that full moon energy here <laughs> sending it out there to you beautiful beautiful people beautiful hearts and souls but we have also some wind oh. yeah. so at the same time uh, we have neptune is in opposition to the moon neptune is conjunct the sun so neptune is reflect uh, the full moon is reflecting the Neptune energy. So the Neptune energy from the last new moon was really inspiring us, opening our hearts with compassion and love, uh, inspiring us to do esoteric and inner work. So that makes us very open. But what the Virgo moon is asking then is to, to, to be, that's great to be open, but what are, which actual parts of this mm -hmm. openness is actually relevant for us right now? and which of those elements that we we can choose to believe anything is possible with neptune but which things are actually the right thing right now to be practical and can create a practical action so i wrote for this is pray and then what does that lead to what practical mm -hmm. actions can mm -hmm. you do from mm -hmm. your own prayer so you, you pray for something to happen but then what can you actually do really physically and then that can lead you back into prayer and then practical action and then prayer. And then you create a, a really grounded cycle rather yes. than it just being uh, only praying and hoping. Mm -hmm. So we actually mm -hmm. can physically do things because Virgo is the sign of somebody who wor works and devotes themselves to practical work that creates change. Yeah. So this is the energy that wants to come through with this. Devotion. Devotion yeah. to the change. Devotion to new practice devotion to new projects and also full moon it brings things um bring things into the full circle you know it's like if something is some back doors are open in your life it's time maybe to reflect and take the exit and close it up you know with your past with your ex-partners ex-situation ex at work and uh, some projects which maybe not necessarily work out but they have you know brought lots of gifts so also see the gifts and yeah, it's time to completion. 
time to also harvest you know where we go it's the season when we harvest as well and it's very exciting it's like abundance you know so reflect also what you have been planting <laughs> also the last spring right because it's kind of a year cycle yeah. we're coming into equinox so what we have planted what seeds we've been intentionally bringing forward and what can grow as well and because we are coming to the equinox which is the spring when we close things off from the old cycle, we can enter a new one and equinox, which is on the 20th of March, it's, it's in welcoming us to reflect and sit in what I want to really bring in this season. You know, it's just really exciting to plant a new seeds. Also physically, you know, get your seeds started because they call it also the warm moon, which is mean working with the earth, so starting the garden as well, which is really powerful. And it's the earth where you go sign for that. So exciting. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, the spring energy is so lovely. And, yeah. um, so other things besides the full moon that are going on is that we still have the Mars-Venus conjunction, which is uh, with us for an extraordinary long time. It, usually we get this once every two years, but this time we're, we're going to have it for quite a long period. It's still going to be there on the equinox. But this time it's making a difficult aspect to Uranus, which is in Taurus. So here the, the, there's going to be pressure uh, to, to change. So Mars-Venus conjunction in Aquarius is looking at our yin-yang energies. So mm. it brings up our sexuality and uh, romantic, romantic relationships. Um, so there's going to be pressure there to, to make changes. Uh, there's probably going to be very dynamic attractions taking place. Mm -hmm. The tendency may be to make uh, very uh, spontaneous decisions, but this can be tricky at this point. So uh, you might want to take a few breaths mm. and consider ah. what's actually going on. And maybe don't make a huge decision. Notice the energy that you're feeling, mm. noticing the pressure to go for revolution and complete change. But don't throw everything into it at this time. Maybe think about it, think of ideas, think of the changes which you might want to instigate for the future. Reflect. So mm. there can be a lot of stubbornness in this as well with the sign of Aquarius and Taurus that you may stubbornly hold on to the old things where you feel pressure to let go. Again, it's a good idea just to feel what that is. What is that resistance, that mm. stubbornness that mm. you you don't want to change is also a possibility with this um, aspect. So I feel um, a lot of pressure to change. Um, be careful about making huge decisions at this mm. point. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just notice the energy, uh, allow it to inspire you. Uh, it can, the Uranus energy can feel almost a little bit crazy and that <laughs> would be normal for Uranus but to try to keep your feet on the ground. We are on this Virgo moon. The Virgo <laughs> moon really wants to know what's practical, what will work, yeah? So uh, Virgo moon wants to take little steps and consider each step and if it's really healthy for mm. us. So this is a bit tricky at this time. Uranus is making a difficult, a lot of pressure for change. That might mean that you're in an environment where it seems like you have to make changes but maybe you have more time than you think. It's a step-by-step -step process, yeah. isn't it? That's how it feels indeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not to rush anything. Reflect, sit with it as well, write about it. It's also time for journaling, you know? Maybe you would like to start doing your journal as well, or even make a collage, you know? How would you would like to be in a relationship? And you can even cut things out of the magazine, you know? Have a little playful way of looking at it, you know, as well. And I give a chance to the other person as well to, you know, if they need to take their time to express something to you, don't rush it, you know, don't close the door right away. Just to pause for a moment as well. And also same for you, if you are, you know, would like to express something to your partner or even family member, it's all about relationships. So not necessarily only romantically, but also with your mother, your father, grandparents, uncles, you know, all the relations all the relations, friends. So it's all about, you know, pausing, taking the little steps forward, giving um, the other person chance as well, because there is the Aquarius energy too. It's about freedom of choice as well and giving them space. 
I feel that's a nice energy. You know, not push things, but actually pause. Beautiful, thank you. And what else do you have out there? I think it was very full chart. Yes, yeah, so it, was, it was a very busy area. A busy area, it looks like a busy train. It was like a train opposite the moon. Mm. So Uranus is making a really positive aspect to Mercury. So uh, along with the Uranus difficult aspect to Mars Venus. So through our mind and our thinking and our beliefs, Uranus is trying to inspire us to new things. So with Mercury, it's all about uh, looking at new ideas, mm -hmm. staying open, uh, again, maybe not making a big commitment to, to too many big changes, but exploring the ideas of change. So, oh, I like that idea. Uh, I'll read about that more. Yeah. Maybe I want to learn more about that idea that I have or that possibility with a person or uh, something. And again, things like with Mercury, writing, um, communication, reading, studying are all highlighted through yes, Mercury yes, yes. and Mercury can, Uranus Mercury can lead us to change the way we think, almost change what we believe about a particular subject or person. So it's bringing a lot of openness to our thoughts yes. and our minds. And also to study further, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. communicate things nicely. I feel that that's the Mercury, a gift to use the throat chakra. Um, there's a nice thing to also do to visualize turquoise -y. Like these colors around are blue, turquoise, lapis lazuli colors. And to visualize that it's healing your throat, healing also the heart which wants to express something through the throat chakra. And often enough and speak, speak up as well. Speak up for yourself, speak up for your family, you know, just to inspire also others to be able to be confident in their words, like your children, you know, as well be the witness for them too you know sometimes lots of children would love to express many things it's just they maybe don't have the uh, confidence to or the uh, moment um, and this is a nice moment to also pause take give them a space as well to express and also for teenagers as well so i feel like it's a very powerful energy expressions intuitions and using throat chakra also for creative time as well so as we said writing maybe you always wanted to write a book or article or start writing it's an opportunity and also to sing sing a song you know or maybe go and learn how to sing or use an instrument so there's many many beautiful openings for that mercury energy coming through and uh, healing this area of the heart and the throat chakra so like it's very beautiful Thank you. Yeah, and I think also on that note, uh, if you're involved with community stuff, uh, with, uh, you know, there's so much going on in Aquarius at moments and uh, Uranus making a very positive aspect to Mercury. Uh, it's a great idea for sharing and connecting about ideas about community and change. Uh, and there's a lot of community stuff been going on recently. Uh, so the, all this Uranus energy can be used in a very positive way if you think about your community or the, the collective, because Uranus is part of the collective and mm. how we can change uh, yes. our community and what uh, empowerment, you know, that you can bring to the community. It helps us feel more connected. So with Mercury, we can share our ideas mm -hmm. about certain things and connect with other ideas and other people, uh, which can help the whole uh, kind of Uranian energy and uh, movement towards change grow because uh, positive change is what, what we on the collective we all need to get behind something positive indeed indeed thank you thank you i love that that's a good emphasis on as well beautiful thank you thank you thank you and is there anything else we can share with our yes. listeners we have uh coming in now to the really beautiful wave that's kind of coming here just at the beginning of march Jupiter is coming into conjunction with Neptune in Pisces. Mm. Both of these planets are, uh, one is at home, one is exalted in Pisces. It doesn't happen so often. Uh, and I feel this is going to be a very uh, powerful wave uh, of high energy, love vibration that we're going to come into soon. Uh, so if you are open, you can tune into this, mm. uh, especially at the time of this full moon, it's going to be, start to become really available to us. So. It's a big outpouring, a high wave of, of um, love consciousness. Um, March, April period is when it's peaking. Mm -hmm. um, 
Beautiful. I love so that. So if you're able to receive, become part of this flow and, and get on with this beautiful river, expansion, growth, faith, wisdom and love, our prayers are going to be answered. This yes. is the, the time when we can receive great inspiration and connection. So this is a really beautiful feel-good energy. It's very subtle, yep. very high vibration, very positive. It's basically uh, expansion of the heart beautiful wow like a golden heart so wow, i feel I that this is going to be an amazing mm. time this spring mm. and we have this uh, energy to work with mm. um and then sign of pisces is just so strong beautiful um, then well we have that actually with the new moon right so we were doing all the aspects of venus and mars healing the shadow which we're mm. rippling out and now we're coming to the completion and there is that uh, the fruit it's coming up you know and it's the golden heart it's the union i feel like it's like the second union of the two wow that's really powerful magical energy oh i like that mm. and also you know to to connect with it in your daily life it's to maybe start practicing a heart meditation as well which might help you to bring yourself into that space with the divine love with the infinity of love and the golden energy so that's also very lovely yeah, thing to do, you know. Everybody's going to be affected by this. Yes, but yes. But if you are open to it, it's really going to be very, amazing. Very amazing flow and expansion. You, you can be, become really conscious with it as Beautiful, well. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and then we have Chiron is making a very positive aspect to the Mars-Venus conjunction. So Chiron brings sensitivity around healing and wounds mm. in the past. Uh, so Chiron is offering uh, possibilities to let go of old wounds around the Mars, Venus stuff, mm -hmm, sexuality, mm -hmm. relationships, stuff from the past, um, especially uh, in terms of where we have, uh, you know, it, it kind of asks us what would we be willing to stand up for because in the sign of Aries, Chiron in Aries, uh, so it's almost, uh, it may bring up times when we've stood up mm, mm -hmm. as a warrior, but it, we've received a painful reaction. But I think now what Karen is saying is that uh, if we've been hurt before when we've stood up and mm -hmm. made our stance, mm -hmm. that we can heal that because mm -hmm. it's actually time to make a stance as a warrior energy yeah. to uh, this Aries, Mars energy to, it empowers us to stand up for truth. And when we see something that's wrong, we say no, and we make our stance very clear. Amazing. Yes, yeah. the healthy boundary, and just standing strong on this Mother Earth. Yeah, beautiful. And I think that's what's affect now the collective as well in this mm. point. We are being up. asked to make yes, a stance. Yes, we yeah. have been asked to make a stand. Mm, it just feels really grounding, really grounding, very positive as well. Yeah very good energy and especially where we see injustice or we see mm -hmm. that there's somebody who is not able to stand for themselves somebody who is a victim that we can stand for them as well this is also a very empowering way to use this um, mm -hmm. warrior energy it's the best way Amazing. Uh, trying not to use it in a selfish way but in an unselfish Sorry, way protect we will become empowered through that. yes yes empower others in fact isn't it so actually um bringing as you said the ones who are not fully ready and kind of do it on on its own to mm. actually bringing them underneath your wings and just show them the way empower them instead of push them away so i feel that's a really nice nice energy which we right now need to empower each other you know and show each other what we can do yeah why we came all here mm. yes and be kind of uh, selfless that's beautiful thank you thank you for sharing that feeling the warrior's energy rising <laughs> yeah. so that's a uh, i mean it's a positive aspect that warrior that empowering warrior energy is there if we want if we want to use it mm. if, if we are can tune into it then there's a really good um, possibility with that yes and but then I, just I saw, I saw, sorry i'm also feeling like with the mars and venus again you know not coming up from the place of wounded self but actually from the healed self and not from the anger but from maybe neutral position you know so how we can come up in a piece with the dark side and the light side as well and how we can sustain ourselves in the 
in a peaceful place, being the peaceful warriors, but be very strong, very clear, very empowering. I feel that's that's what all about is. It's how to be an I need, we call it. I need with yourself, which is in harmony with yourself and your environment, everybody around you, and also with the shadow and the light. You know, not saying, oh, I'm taking the shadow side, I'm afraid of that, or, you know, I just kind of been drawing to that, or I will be just in light, you know, and I'm only a light, but actually being everything and nothing, kind of dissolving these two and becoming like the oneness, become like at the neutral position, you know, I feel that's usually always more powerful than taking one side here or one side there, but actually how we can neutralize it, transform it into one source. And I feel that's what it's actually bringing this Virgo Pisces energy, becoming the one source, but very strong, very clear, very grounding. Yeah, empowering, beautiful. So the last thing was the the, the, sh the shape of the chart was very <laughs> interesting to look at. Uh, it was in, in astrology we call a classic bucket shape where the moon is on its own opposite all the yeah. other planets. <laughs> so you have a, sh a shape like this with all the planets and then up here the moon which is the handle. So what that can say is that the that using the moon's energy will help us to handle the situation yes, yes. and really um, the moon in Virgo's energy is about emotional maturity mm. um, and grounding. So um, we can handle the current situation by being emotionally grounded, uh, making smart mm -hmm. decisions mm -hmm. um, about our own health mm -hmm. and that of the environment around yes. us, staying open and flexible to new information uh, and grounding our day-to-day -day, yeah. uh, actions through work uh, which will balance with our faith and our inner work and our mm -hmm. esoteric work so finding that balance and that was again that was nice the shape of the chart really summarized the whole picture yeah it's like a bundle you know like um, i have a mesa bundle which is 13 medicine stones and uh yes i'm also a virgo <laughs> so i can very much relate to that energy i think it would be a very powerful moon for myself indeed and I feel like uh, that's how I see that energy as well. Like there's a bundle of so many offerings this this moment, this time on earth. So let's take the opportunity. Let's actually use the gifts of the bundle and with that moon energy in the top, you know, in the Virgo, which is also Virgos are very good guides and healers and supporters and carers, you know, earth, earth keepers. So it's all about like the earth, holding us together here and how we can use all the abundance all the other signs you know and the planets and how we can actually bring it here to to the earth it's a very powerful image so thank you so much for all thank your you. wisdom yeah. as well beautiful earth keeper and beautiful astro guidance and how can we where can we find you where can our listeners find you if they decided to maybe work with you one to one Yes, I'm available to do readings, one-to-one -one readings. I also do astrodrama workshop, but usually that'll be later in the summer. But uh, yeah, I'm on Orion Astrology Facebook page. Beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. You. And also Medicine of Light, uh, Mishka Chaska, myself, are hosting again a full moon and equinox ceremony. And that will be on the... Um, either on the full moon or on the 20th <laughs> and I welcome you to that as well more details it's in my link medicineoflight.cz and also let us know how you feel about our astro guidance shamanic mm, energy we'd healing love we'd love to hear yeah. and yeah you can write it down or you can send us an email as well and uh, we love feedbacks and also how you doing you know how you getting on and if you really like it you can subscribe there is a button down there uh, subscribe today then we can do also more live videos as, as well for you we can exist more in this youtube channel <laughs> and share with your friends share with your families maybe they will find it very helpful this time and thank you so much for being here with us today and as a bonus of today of this amazing glorious day um, and this beautiful full moon energy equinox energy i am 
I have prepared a little meditation uh, for bringing balance. So I have these gorgeous candlelight crystals. They're really powerful crystals and they are signifying the masculine and feminine. And um, if you like to do it with us now, it's a short meditation. Uh, you're very welcome. And we take a seat, open our hearts, relax. And yeah, if you have any crystals handy, you can place them in your hands with intention for bringing harmony to the feminine and the masculine. Or if you don't have them, you're just holding the hands out like that, like a, bringing a balance scale into your life. So feeling the left side, the feminine energy, right side, the masculine energy, and allowing those archetypes, these energies to calm, to earth down, feeling the earth energy, the Virgo energy opening up so your legs are getting heavier and heavier and you feel more stable and centered in order to do this amazing work. Breathe in and breathe out, bringing it all down to the earth and earth is bringing all her abundance, all her juices up. And we bring it all the way through all the chakras into the heart and, and from the heart into our arms, into our hands, filling up the place of the feminine and the place of the masculine in your palms and in the crystals. And bringing yourself into the heart deeply, feeling the balance feeling harmony of the yin and yang, the feminine, masculine. And we breathe in and our heart is expanding and expanding and expanding. Beautiful golden energy is flowing from the top, from the sun and the moon, anchoring the crown, your third eye, your throat, down to the heart, all the way down to the earth. And we're sitting in this beautiful golden energy of the full moon, feeling the balance, feeling oneness, unity and peace. your breath deep deep breathe in and breathe out transforming what all what have came up for you in this moment and how we can bring this harmony back into our lives into our daily lives this peace this unity we breathe in, bringing that golden energy in front of our hearts, bringing that hands together. Giving gratitude, feeling love for one, feeling love for all, love for yourself, love for the Mother Earth. Feeling expansion. We take a deep breath in. Expand it one more time. And we stay in this beautiful place, in the beautiful garden of your heart, with the harmony of the feminine masculine the oneness now when we're ready we just take a down breath in expand and we lift the hands up to the sky if we can lift them up 
and we just bring that energy down through our crowns down to the heart down to the earth we become a pure full portal of light and we close the luminous field because we were so expanded so coming back we close it and we come back here to the earth your own beautiful body thank you thank you thank you wishing you a beautiful full moon